Why so beautiful people? This is Khuram from My Guess Well and hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to be talking with you about my experience of owning the Apple TV 4K up to the second generation and also Apple has released the brand new third generation that we're going to talk about in this video as well. And we have the Nvidia Shield TV 4K Pro, which I've been actively using. And I'll tell you guys why I'm using these two devices and what it's doing for me. And it's gonna help you out to make decision that which one suits best for your needs. So make sure to hit the like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And somebody like this has issues with my accent. So I have ordered a brand new accent, but it is taking time because of the delays, you know, the supply chain. So I'll have a new one in near future. So. I hope 99% of the people are not like this and they are like you guys so really appreciate that support. So now let's look at the Apple TV 4K which is the 2021 model and same looking in 2022. It has the Ethernet port, the HDMI and the power cord there which you can plug in. And also it has another version where you don't have the Ethernet port so you can just connect to Wi-Fi. Now you're looking at the other device that I have. It is the Nvidia Shield TV 4K Pro and it has the USB Type-C for power. Then it has Ethernet, HDMI and two additional ports that Apple TV 4K second gen and third gen both don't have. And what is that? I'll tell you about and I'll show you guys my media room where I have plugged in the hard drive to it. So this is in my media room. I have the Apple TV 4K next to the a Mandalorian there and it's connected to the Nvidia Shield TV as well connected to the processor th that is the Marantz and amplifier and you can see Nvidia Shield TV is right here on the left side kind of crammed in everything because it takes so much space sometimes because the way Nvidia Shield TV is um, and then this is the hard drive so USB is connected to that Nvidia Shield TV for this hard drive because I have all these movies which are ripped and stored in that hard drive. So what happens that I have the Plex media server that is inside the Nvidia Shield TV. And I have the 4K Blu-ray player, which I don't have to use now because after ripping all of these 4K Blu-ray discs, I can just go to that Plex server that is built into the Nvidia Shield TV. So that is the best thing about Nvidia Shield TV that you don't need to host the server on a PC you can just do it on the Nvidia Shield TV and it processes for you the direct stream where you can get the 4K HDR, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, DTSX. So all the standard and the advanced audio codecs, you can get that. Now let's talk about the Apple TV app. Actually, Apple TV app is everywhere on any TV that you pick up has the LG Web OS or even on the Android TV. And also, if you look at the Samsung TV, you will find the Apple TV there. So you can log in and you can have the Apple TV application, which is kind of Apple TV minus all the applications that are Apple exclusive. And also you have the games in the arcade, which you can get. So this is my Samsung QN90A and it also has the Apple TV application. Even my Nvidia Shield TV, if you buy the Shield TV, you are getting the Apple TV built into it. It also has the Apple TV app in there. How cool is that, right? But you won't get the applications like Kodi if you are using the Kodi. If you have a special use like that, Nvidia Shield TV is going to be best. Okay, now we are looking at the Samsung TV playing HDR10 Plus on the Amazon Prime Video, which is the new feature that came out in the Apple TV 4K Gen 3. Now if you can do that already on the Samsung TV using the apps that are built in and you can do Apple TV application also on the TV which gives you the Dolby Vision and the HDR and HDR 10 plus with the Amazon Prime because that's the only option you have. So I don't know why you need the Apple TV device but then you need it for the gaming. So if you are going to be gaming in the future we're going to be getting the HDMI 2.1 where you can do the 4K 120Hz gaming and Apple is really good with that. So if your need is about the gaming and you're gonna be connecting the Plex server and you need a dedicated server, the Nvidia Shield is the way to go. But if you're not gonna be doing any sort of that, I'm a old school still with the Blu-ray disc, so if you're not doing any of that and you're gonna rely on streaming, then first thing is just check if you have the Apple TV app on your TV, just use that because it's gonna do everything for you. But then if you have requirements like if you have Apple Music, which can do FLAC audio, which is actually ALAC audio, which is Apple lossless audio codec, 
you can use the Apple Music from the Apple TV gives you the better quality. And then again, on LG TVs, you can find that app. So first see what is your requirement and what you have usage for. If you want to use Arcade, then you have to go with Apple TV 4K. And the latest one will be the best one if you go with we have the Plex and the Infuse. If you're familiar with these two apps, they actually play the content from your hard drive, but it does not play a lot of content. And for this, I have to add another device because on Apple TV, you cannot connect a hard drive because it doesn't have any USB. So right now you're looking at my Plex server on my Nvidia Shield TV, and you can see it can do 7.1 True HD. On the Apple TV, you are limited to 7.1 Dolby Digital and you can do the uh, Atmos, but it's gonna be compressed So that's how you have the Apple TV playing everything that's li literally little limited But most of the people will not notice unless you have a really system where you can tell all of these variables So let's say I'm gonna play this 7.1 DTS HD track on my Nvidia Shield TV where it is capable of doing the IMAX enhanced. So these are terminologies which is getting really like that uh, doesn't make the life simple. It is complicated. It is Android TV. It has a lot of loaded stuff. It came out four years ago. I feel like the way they released it, it's just like they were releasing it for really future proofed. And with the updates, you can see that I'm gonna lower this lid here and it says the IMAX DTSX. You will never see that from Apple TV. So it all depends on what kind of utilization that you have. So if you're gonna be using it for streaming, I know I'm getting conf making you guys more confused here, right? So let me back up a little. So you have the Apple TV app available on most of the TVs. And if you are just going to be using Apple TV Plus and gonna be just watching movies, that will do the job. But if you're looking at gaming and you're gonna be doing 4K 120 Hertz gaming, and then you have the Apple, um, home ports, those speakers to connect, then you can go with Apple TV 4K. But if you have a system dedicated like this, then there's no need because you already have a speakers that's connected to the, you know, the receiver. So now I'm playing the same um, journey to the Pacific on the Apple TV and you see that it cannot play the DTS track, which is not the Dolby Digital, it is a different one. So you have the DTS X, DTS HD, uh, master a lot of stuff there complicated codecs your Nvidia Shield TV whatever you throw at it is going to be able to display you and play you that particular format and um, it is not capable of doing 4k 120 Hertz but it can do any everything that is available out there at the moment so we have to wait for Apple TV to release the 4k 120 Hertz which we don't have at the moment so let me tell you the prices the Apple TV 4K Pro is $199 and the Apple TV is actually $149. So it's a choice between a lot of features that are really practical and you're gonna be utilizing in the home theater system. I will say go with Nvidia Shield TV, but if you want ease of access, want simple stuff, uh, your TV does not have those applications like Apple TV app, then you can go with Apple TV. Or let me know in the comment section what situation you guys are in and I usually reply all the comments and I might be able to help you out with this. Maybe it's too much to cram in one video. So I'll see you in another video. Until then, peace out.